Hey, welcome back to The Market Investor. I'm Daniel Snyder. Thanks for joining us back for another one. Uh, today, I have two quick things I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about the power of quantity in the stock market. This is for traders only. Now, investors, quantity matters as well, especially if you're going after those dividend payments. But this one is really for the traders to recognize the price of stocks and, and uh, the quantity and how you want to use quantity to maximize your gains. And then the second one is just the importance of education. Because this, this is, once you dive into this stuff, it never stops, right? You always got to be on top of what's happening in the world, what companies are doing, what new products are coming out for the companies that you're interested in buying stock in or you hold stock in, who's the new CEO, who's the new leadership, the list goes on. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy and uh, let's get into number one. So the power of quantity in the stock market. Um, like I said, this is for traders. This is for day traders. This is for swing traders, position traders. Uh, here's the question is why would you own three shares of Microsoft stock, say? Say it's trading at $150. You buy three shares of that, and over the day it moves up uh, $3. So three times three, you made $9. Congratulations. When that same day you could have bought five shares of Uber, or actually let's say, let's say Uber is $25 a share. Uh, so you could have bought six shares of Uber. And if Uber moved $5, that's $30, right? And the difference between that is profit that you've missed out on. So why not take advantage of the quantity? So $30 versus $9, why? Why would you just miss out on $21 of profit? That's why quantity is important. And that's just as, as simple as that. Find something that, and that's why penny stocks do so well. Find something that's a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. Something that can let you maximize the number of shares if you are looking to trade quickly. Now, if you're looking to invest, ignore everything I just said. But if you're looking to trade quickly, if you're looking to get in one day, out the same day, or out the next day, or out that week, or out the month, find something where you can compound your, your number of shares to really drive those profits through the roof. Secondly, education. The importance to study, uh, it's what you don't know hurts you, right? That's what it boils down to. What you don't know hurts you, which is also why they have acronyms in the market. They make it seem so confusing because if you don't know what it is, that means they can keep the money in their pocket. If you take the time to learn, then you can figure out the same things that they are doing over on Wall Street, things that are happening around the world, figuring out how the Japanese yen currency affects our market, figuring out what treasury yields are and why is it that when treasury yields are going down, um, it's because people are taking stock market money and they're putting it into treasuries because the traders have to make their certain percentage of return for their investors every year, right? It's all correlated, it's all connected, but if you don't know what it is, then you can't understand why you just put your money into one stock and then it just shot down immediately, right? It's, it's all correlated and you have to do the study and the due diligence to look into it, figure it out, watch these videos and just learn how it all operates. Um, the second thing is read the news, right? The news always can shoot prices up, shoot prices down. I mean, the oil price war, that's the perfect example, is oil dropped by $10 a barrel overnight when Saudi Arabia and Russia didn't come to a conclusion at the beginning of March for oil cuts during this time. And now we're here we are this week, they're planning to do another OPEC meeting. But then Iran is like, well, we don't want to go to the, do this virtual meeting if we don't have an agreement on how much oil is going to be cut. So the news definitely makes the market fluctuate, which is why you definitely got to look into it, read it, understand it. I read the news every single day. You got to stay on top of it. Treat it like a job right? Treat it like a job, know what's going on. And plus the other positive side is you can always have something to talk about with people. Why not? The last little tidbit I'll give you is one of my secrets I use. Uh, and it's kind of, I'm not endorsed by them. This isn't an ad or anything, but there's an app out there called Smart News. And I just love this app. It's kind of like Flipboard. There's other apps like it. Apple News is trying to do something similar. Um, but Smart News, I've just always used. You go in, you plug the news sources that you want to get your news from but also it memorizes and it studies which articles you're clicking on. So if you're studying the oil price war, right? And you're clicking and reading article after article after article on oil and what's happening, it's gonna start pushing more of those articles to you, kind of like what YouTube does with videos. When it finds out you're interested in a certain topic, it's gonna to continue to send that information to you because that's more likely to make you click. Advertisers love it as well. And that's just the whole circle of how they make money. Um, but Smart News, I would highly recommend it. It definitely takes a little bit of time for the algorithms underneath to recognize what you're interested in, 
what news sources you like, what you prioritize, what you're following in the market and everything, but it does help give you the relevant news that you need to, to be reading about if you're interested in one specific topic. Um, so yeah, that's all I've really got for this one uh, is just the power of quantity and to educate yourself. Uh, something for everybody out there, right? So the first part of this video, quantity for traders. Traders only is what I'll recommend with that. Um, quantity is also important in investing, but your profits are gonna come through dividends and it's gonna come through the, the long-term growth or the long-term value that these stocks and these companies provide. But for traders, quantity is definitely something to favor. And then the second is education. Just educate yourself and hopefully my videos can help you do that. So that's all I've got. Uh, I hope you learned something and I hope you'll subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs> my